The groundwork for all happiness is good health. Very good evening viewers. Welcome to today's episode of BMC Global Live Al Hilal Health World, an exclusive health talk with doctors from Al Hilal Hospital and Medical Center. This is Marina Francis, your host for today. In today's episode of Health World, we will be taking up the topic UTI, that is urinary tract infection. We will be speaking about how to manage UTI and most importantly, how to prevent UTI. Def definitely being the summer time in this part of the world, I think it is an important topic to talk about. And it is my pleasure to welcome the doctor joining with us today, Dr. Shabina Naz. She is a female urologist currently working at Al Hilal Hospital, Mohrak branch. Good evening, doctor. Welcome to Al Hilal Health World. Thank you for joining with us today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yes, doctor. So before we go on specifically to UTI, let me ask what are the common urological diseases? There are a lot of the uh, urological diseases, but the most common is urinary tract infection, as you know. Yes. And uh, along with this, uh, the stone disease, the okay. urine uh, voiding uh, problems, urine storing problem, prostate and malignancies. Okay. And uh, like um, this part of the world, uh, the climate is hot, the water is heavy. So the patient uh, are having more stone diseases and more UTI. Yes, okay, so definitely today we have an important topic to discuss about UTI. Yes. So what is actually UTI? UTI actually is uh, the infection or uh, invasion of the urothelium, you can say the epithelium of urinary tract. And what is the urinary tract? Urinary tract uh, includes the kidneys, ureter, bladder, and urethra. An infection of um, the urinary tract by the bacteria is known as a urinary tract infection, you know, UTI as okay. in short. And uh, for the UTI, um, the symptoms the patient got, it's because of uh, the inflammatory reaction of the epithelium of the urinary tract that the patient got uh, these kind of uh, symptoms. Doctor, so UTI, how is it, uh, is it common for males or females more? How is it different for males and females? Uh, actually, uh, the female are having short urethra, like uh, two to three centimeter, and male having long urethra. So the prevalence of the UTI urinary tract infection is more common in uh, females. Like you can say, it's uh, fifty percent, okay. uh, fifty percent in females, as compared to males. Yes. That's why uh, female gets the uh, infection more frequently than that of the male. Okay. And um, also the uh, females having um, one episode in per year can be can have mm -hmm. a one episode per year and they will get the chance to get another UTI in next uh, six months. You can it, it can be uh, recurrent or reinfection, this kind of infection. And uh, the UTI in female is a simple one. And uh, before going into uh, telling you uh, like uh, the UTI or uh, what kind of uh, UTI female can have, yes. we have two kinds of uh, UTI. These are okay. simple or uncomplicated and uh, complicated UTI. Okay. In fact, uh, the uncomplicated UTI is occurring in non-pregnant premenstrual women and they are simple to treat and uh, for the male or the patient having diabetes or patient having immunocompromise uh, or patient um, uh, having any other risk factors having any infected stones or obstructive system they will get the complicated uti so the uh, uti for the female and male are differing in such way in the female if she's not pregnant if she's not a menopausal women her infection will be simple one means uncomplicated okay. and the for the male if he is having infection it would be complicated and it have uh, and uh, for the tree as uh, for the treatment simple uti can be treated for short course of antibiotic and for the complicated one we have to um, take the longer duration of the treatment that's why so, doctor, you spoke about males and females. Uh, are UTI also found in children as well? Uh, yes. In the uh, children less than one year in infants, um, UTI are more common in males, uh, mm -hmm. three person as compared to one person in female. But uh, in school going age, uh, UTI are more common in female. And f uh, as you can say from the 
uh, start from the childhood, the UTI are more common in female as compared to male one. But uh, the pediatric urology, uh, pediatric unit tract infection is a totally different and vast entity. It can be uh, speak, uh, spoken on another time. So, doctor, uh, next question would be: How can we know that a person is suffering from UTI? What are the symptoms they show, and how it, how is it diagnosed? For the diagnosis purpose, um, pa uh, it, dep it starts with the uh, when the patient comes in your OPD. Mm -hmm. Patient present to you with the um, dysuria, which is burning maturation, its urgency. Okay. Uh, sometime it's difficulty in passing urine. Mm -hmm. Sometime it's um, offensive smell. Sometimes it's uh, hematuria and fever, but uh, the patient coming to you with the hematuria and fever, it's uh, you can say it's a red flag sign in UTI, but okay. it's it's maybe complicated or somehow, but it's a rare one. And uh, then we uh, sometimes patient present with a suprapubic pain, and we examine the p uh, patient for the general physical examination for the temperature for suprapubic tenderness uh, and in the case of female we examine her per vaginally and per urethral any uh, cyst um, any um, uv prolapse you can say and uh, then we go for the investigation okay. for the investigation uh, the simplest and the one and only uh, for the first time presentation is urine routine analysis. In this, we check the uh, urine with the dipstick and microscopy, okay. and we check for the WBC count, we check for the bacteria, we check for the pH level, we check for any crystals and all these things. And um, we don't go for uh, other investigation uh, when it's uh, female, non-pregnant, premenopausal uh, women, but uh, we go for the other investigation only when the patient is pregnant, patient present with the recurrent UTI, mm -hmm. our patient is having stone disease, our patient is male. The other investigation we go for our ultrasound, CT. It depends ke, um, how we can proceed with the investigation. Okay. Yes. So, doctor, uh, in that case, who would be at more risk of getting UTI? The re, uh, reason getting a more UTI are because of some risk factor. Mm, mm, as you know, I already told you, the female gender is at risk. Yes. Increasing age at risk. As the elderly uh, male, in the elderly male, um, there is a prostate issue because okay. um, a a prostate gets enlarged and it causes infection. It And in female, decrease uh, estrogen level leads to infection. If the patient is pregnant, if the patient is diabetic, if the patient is immunocompromised, uh, taking any medicines for a long time, and uh, if, uh, in the nursing home, the old, uh, elderly male and female getting uh, UTI because of uh, um, not handling, not good handling, because of not good handling, because of poor hygiene. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, if the patient is having catheter for the long time, if the patient is having underlying stone disease, if patient having any uh, structural abnormalities and all these, these pa patient can uh, have UTI. Okay. Yeah. So definitely we only spoke about the basics, technical aspects of what is UTI and who are at risk of getting UTI. We need to know how to manage it and how to prevent it. But we will be back after a very short break. Welcome back. You're watching BMC Global Live Al Hilal Health World. Nothing but lifestyle. In today's episode, we are discussing about the topic UTI, that is urinary tract infections. So let's move ahead with further queries. Doctor, uh, so we spoke about who are at more risk of getting UTI yes. and what are the symptoms shown, the causes. Doctor, um, once UTI is diagnosed, how do we manage it or how is the treatment done? For the treatment purpose, um, the basic aim of the treatment is to eliminate the bacterial growth from the urinary tract. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, uh, once patient is diagnosed with the UTI, we mm, treat him or her empirically at first mm -hmm. um, according to the symptoms okay. until the, we get the CS, 
uh, report, CS report is you can say urine culture and sensitivity report. Mm -hmm. We sent uh, at the first when the patient come with us with the U with the sign and symptoms of a UTI, we sent the urine culture for culture and sensitivity. It takes two or three days. That's why we uh, start the patient on empirical therapy, empirical antibiotics according to the sign and symptoms of the patient mm -hmm. until the report uh, comes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, definitive treatment is uh, according to the culture and sensitivity. We use the antibiotics according to the culture and uh, sensitivity. Okay. And uh, then the definitive management is uh, uh, treat the underlying cause. If it's uh, mm -hmm. any malformation, any obstruction, if it, there is any stone, you have to address that problem. So mm -hmm. you can um, be able to treat the UTI. Okay, so uh, apart from medicines, the person might need to get ho admitted to the hospital yes. also at times. Because um, uh, UTI is very simple to treat, very simple to diagnose, but it can lead to many other uh, complications. If it's because of a stone or underlying uh, obstruction, it can lead to uh, renal failure. It can lead to urosepsis. You can say a patient has to be managed in ICU, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, these things are with uh, immunocompromised diabetic patient or patient having any other immunodeficiency like HIV or all these kind of things uh, um, are in uh, using corticosteroids or uh, chemotherapies. These patient can get this type of UTI, but it mm -hmm. can occur. And okay. yes. So, doctor. Um, how serious or how important it is to visit a doctor when we feel that suppose we are having UTI? It's very um, necessary to visit a doctor when you get these symptoms. I know uh, a lot of the patient um, read on the internet, they know all the information about UTI, but the treatment is according to their sign and symptom on the net too. Mm -hmm. But the patient asks them question, ask them uh, regarding stone history, investigate them, and they come to know about what kind of uh, UTI they have. Mm -hmm. uh, so they treat them accordingly. So it's very necessary to uh, visit your doctor when you get these symptoms because um, it may lead to recurrence and all these things. Okay. So doctor, talking about that, can a person get UTI again and again? Can it be recurring? Yes, uh, UTI can be uh, recur. Mm, I already told you before, uh, if a female is getting UTI in a while, a female, a female, uh, young female, uh, 20 to 50 years, she can get a UTI once in a while. When she gets the UTI, there are 15 to 20 percent of the chances to recur, okay. and in ne next six months, if uh, you don't treat uh, the UTI properly, m means uh, not according to the guidelines, not according to the mm, culture and sensitivity, your UTI can recur, and uh, for this purpose, you have to go f uh, to doctor because uh, he, he or she will give you the medicine according to your um, sign and symptoms and then to the culture and sens sensitivity and you will get better. But if the, uh, you treat yourself at home, you will take antibiotic two or three days and then left it and uh, it won't get properly yes. treated and you will get uh, um, recurrence and uh, then you will rush to the doctor because I get the UTI again, what's the problem, what's mm -hmm. the reason behind, and th you become anxious and all this, uh, you have to be very careful according these things. Doctor, so you spoke about uh, what, uh, how it can be treated, how UTI can be treated, but I think the most important question here would be how we can prevent from getting a UTI. UTI prevention is more important and uh, for the female per, uh, point of view because we yes. are uh, females ha a female having short urethra and they are more prone to get the UTI. That's uh, uh, therefore it's very important to prevent UTI because yes. I told you if it once occur it um, can recur it can mm. lead to the other complication and all these things. Sure. Uh, for the uh, prevention purpose. Um, you have to uh, take adequate amount of uh, fluid okay. 
research is limited, but it does work. Mm -hmm. And another important thing is avoidance of the spermicides with the um, contraceptives, because it increases the, the susceptibility of the organisms or adhesions of the bacteria. Okay. And uh, when the adhesion of the bacteria increases, it leads to infection. You have to avoid bubble baths and uh, perfume soaps because uh, they kill the protective organism living in your tract. Okay. You, you do have protective organism uh, who prevent you from the UTI. If you use bubble bath and douches, is a streaming uh, with the water, they will in, uh, kill your protective organism and will increase the chance of infection. And uh, very important for the mothers, for the young females, uh, please always wash yourself from front to back, not from back to front, because when you wash yourself from back to front, um, fecal contamination occurs to front your vagina, your uh, your urethra, it will lead to the uh, infection. And uh, for if you have a female kid, you have to wash her from front to back and teach her how to wash yourself. And another very important thing for the married female, please always void before and after intimation because if you don't uh, void it can also lead to infections okay. this was that's all as you have to prevent yourself from the uti because if you get it it will recur yes doctor uh, you being a female urologist we understand that females prefer to visit a female urologist can you speak about the availability of female urologists in bahrain and commonly um, as for the female urologists, uh, they are very rare outside the world, um, uh, mostly in Middle East and e Asia. And uh, part of uh, this field, um, it's good to be a female urologist because female patient always hesitate to go to a male urologist because of privacy issue. When you go for to them for UTI, for any other problem, they have to examine because doctor examined you. Okay, they have to examine uh, you and uh, uh, females hesitate uh, um, to be touched by the male doctor. Mm -hmm. That's why it's good to have a female urologist in the system so uh, the female can be easy to go of, uh, to the doctor for their checkup, for their treatment uh, because uh, doctor checks you uh, uh, per vaginally for the examination purpose if you having uh, uh, UTI you having stone disease and uh, as for the tr um, treatment purpose of the stone disease uh, we have uh, the recent um, technology regarding recent uh, procedure endoscopically mm -hmm. they have to go from the urethra female urethra and male urethra to in the female we have to go from the urethra and to the bladder to upward and it's also very inconvenient for the female patient to just heard about you have to go through our urethra mm -hmm. and the male doctor so um, it's good to have a female urologist in the system um, patient can come uh, and discuss their problem with us and they yes. can get treated and they get uh, can get better so definitely it's a huge advantage that uh, you're available in uh, Al Hilal yes. Hospital. Doctor, can you talk about your timings uh -huh, and how yes. you are available? I'm um, uh, um, Dr. Shabina, female urologist available in Al Hilal Hospital, Moharat, every uh, day 9 to 1 p.m. and uh, from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. Uh, except Wednesday. So doctor, coming towards the end of today's episode, can you sum up uh, about UTI? as a takeaway message for our viewers as a takeaway message it's very very easy to prevent uh, uti um, but um, if you get once please do visit your doctor and to get properly checked and properly treated yes. so you can be uh, prevented sure. thank you very much doctor for joining with us today and answering to all our queries it was nice meeting you doctor thank you so much thank you so much Definitely, I hope that viewers found this episode quite relevant and informative. We will be back again next Tuesday, same time, 8 p.m. Until then, this is Marina Francis signing off. Stay happy, stay healthy. Good night.